So we're here on my farm in Oxfordshire and uh, also Clive Blacker from Aggravation uh, is here as well. He's just scanning the field, this field that I've got here uh, that is coming out of AB15 uh, and it's going to be used for our Slimers trial. So I'm one of 30 slug sleuths who's setting out a grid uh, on a hectare of uh, this field once it's, it, it's in wheat um, and we're going to be setting out slug traps to monitor the slug activity uh, for a period of five weeks uh, in the autumn. Um, so let's go and see Clive and see how he's getting on. Hello Clive, how Hi. are you? Very well Tom, how are you doing? Very well indeed, thanks. So what have you what have you found so far then? Well we've been mapping this side of the field so far with the conductivity and uh, it's showing some quite big differences. The white patches that you were pointing out to me earlier where you've got your slug trap with your door yeah. um, are really coming out as really high conductive which suggests it's really heavy, heavier, more conductive soil, so clay, right. more clay caps. Um, versus the rest of the field, which looks actually really gravelly. It looks, you know, quite stony. It's got very low conductive content. So, no, well, um, that, that tallies with what um, what I know about this field. And that area that you talked about, the high conductivity area, is where we usually find the most of the slugs. Do, do, is, do, would, would that sound right? Absolutely. Yeah. I mean, the slugs like the wetter, heavier soils, and and you know, it keeps them alive for a lot longer than the the, the drier, less conductive stuff. So that would fit perfectly, really. So in terms of laying out the the trial uh, that we're going to, we, we need to find um, a hectare area to lay it out, don't yep. we? So um, would you say that that would be the best? The best. Uh, yeah, well, I would like to try and, if we can, put a hectare area in that, that covers part part of that area and part of the gravel area, if we can, if we can get it on the fringe of there, where we know it's right in the heavier slug infested areas versus the areas that you don't think are. And then that way, that gives us a really good opportunity to, to look at those changing soil properties and then measure the slug populations relating to those as, uh, on those fringes. So it should give us some really quite interesting data. Great, fantastic. Well, look, I won't hold you up. Um, I'll, I'll see you later. Thanks, Tom. Okay, bye. I'll let you know when I'm done. I can't do nothing with you. So these are beetle traps, Tom. Why are we using these and, and what, how are we setting them up? Well, the idea is that we're going to be monitoring the beetles within the grids that the slugs lose are setting up. Um, so these are um, a traps. What we've got here is a cup, um, a small plastic cup like this uh, within a, a liner cup um, down here. And um, we've set this into the ground. The idea is that the beetles come along and they fall into the trap. Yeah. Um, and we're going to put a little bit of uh, water um, in here. Uh, unfortunately, the beetles have got to die. Uh, otherwise, uh, if we allow them to live within the cup, uh, then they eat each other. Um, so, um, uh, so this is going to sit in the field like that. And we need to dig a hole uh, and set it in. Make sure that the um, that it's nice and level here, so that yeah. there's no lip for the for the beetle to have to get over. Make it easy access. In. Exactly. That's right. Um, and then we put over the top um, this. Uh, uh, saucer um, with these legs here just to um, uh, basically keep it weatherproof uh, and little shelter for the beetles like that there we go perfect fantastic and there's your beetle trap uh, and we're going to have 20 uh, within the grid area yep. so you can see we've marked this one up with a yeah it'll go from a through to whatever the 20th letter is in the alphabet. I can't <laughs> yep. what it is now no uh, and then we'll be able to monitor what the what the beetles are doing yeah and the idea of that Clive is is to see whether there's any uh, influence that the beetles have um, on the, on slug the slugs yeah. okay because we'll be monitoring the, the slug populations quite yeah. closely and then if we can see how the beetle populations influence the slugs yeah then we can get a really good idea of um, you know if you encourage your beetles just what effect that's going to have on your slug control I think that's really important they, they offer a good cultural control I'm sure and hopefully eat a few slugs well exactly and and hopefully it'll it'll allow us to um, uh, rely less on on uh, molluscicides slug pellets absolutely and are we checking these once a week as with the slug traps yes that's the idea yeah. so, so what, what, what we've got to do what the slug sleuths have got to do is check all of their hundred slug traps yeah um, once a week for five weeks yeah and at the same time um, 
um, they check their beetle trap as well. And it's just a very simple question of taking it out like that. You find your, your beetles in there. Um, and what we'll do is we'll provide everyone uh, with a little uh, white tray that yep. they pour their beetles out onto. Um, and then they'll be taking a photo um, and sending it in oh, fantastic. With, with, the, with the Husk Data app. Fantastic. So we'll have photographic evidence, we'll be able to speciate the beetles. Well, yeah, the, the, so we, we've got a species guide that yeah. we're going to be providing all of the slugs lose. Apparently it's very difficult I'm to sure. actually correctly identify yeah. them. But as long as we've got the photos... Absolutely. Um, Somebody the, brighter than me can do exactly. that. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> That's the plan, yes. Excellent. Great. So there we go. Let's Fantastic. just set this up and uh, we're all ready to go. So we've had a look at laying out the grid for these slug traps that the slug sleuths are going to be monitoring. Um, what I'm interested to know is whether there are any slugs around in the field at the moment. So I've got my slug trap here. So what we're going to do is we're going to take a look under here, see if there are any slugs. Now let's take a look. Wow, yeah, no, we've got quite a few. He, they're, these are the grey field slugs. These are the ones that we're looking for. And the plan is that we're going to pick all of these off and send them in to John Inner Centre for feeding trials that are taking place at the moment. One of the interesting things today is we've got some slug eggs. So what we're going to do is I'm going to collect these, these slug eggs and we'll send them into John Inner Centre as well because they can hatch them in the John Inner Centre insectary uh, and then they'll have even more slugs to do more trials further in the year. And anyone can take part in this and become a slug scout and we'd send you a free slug scouting pack so that you can do this and take part in a very important scientific project.